Let's talk about, because I know you're a proponent of the ketogenic diet, which you've just mentioned as a promising anti-aging interventions, but why don't we talk about diet and lifestyle strategies? I really do want to get into um, exercise as well and how that plays a role. Well, diet and lifestyle, you know, a keto, we, listen, when I first started doing all this stuff many, many, many years ago, uh, we were doing calorie restriction. Um, and, and we knew that calorie, which turns out to be water only fasting. So we were seeing really spectacular effects in, in, in mice by water only fasting. But then we said, oh man, uh, who's going to want to do this? They're going to think you're a nut going out. There. What do you, how am I going to manage? Oh, don't drink, don't eat anything for 30 days. Well, who the, well, you know, gonna do that right? Now. I mean, you, you, you know, this guy's crazy. So we said, oh, what can we do to this? I worked in the epilepsy clinics at, or, at, with the epilepsy at Yale University for nine years down there. So we were working on, on, on ketogenic diets and mm. this kind of thing for a long time. And, um, and we knew I was, you know, I, I started the ketogenic diet workshops because in, in the field of epilepsy, ketogenic diets are acceptable as a way to manage seizures in little kids. So, uh, and it became acceptable in that part of neurology, uh, uh, neurological problems. But mm. for cancer, um, we, we didn't want to say go starve yourself. So we said, why don't we do a ketogenic diet? It's just reducing blood sugar and elevating ketones in a more natural way. So then all of a sudden the diet crazies got involved with this. Oh, you got to do this. What can I eat? What, blah, blah, blah. So I, then we developed the glucose ketone index calculator, which we developed here at Boston College, which lowers the blood sugar and elevates the ketones, regardless of what the hell you want to eat. You want to eat a, you want to be a vegan? Go ahead, be a vegan. You want to be a carnivore? Be that. You want to be a Mediterranean, pescatarian? I don't care what you want to be. Just get your GKI 1.0 below, and you're going to start putting met metabolic pressure on this. So uh, on these cancer cells. So, so people always ask me, well, he didn't say what I should. I don't give a damn what you can eat. Just bring your GKI down. And you say, well, I tried and it didn't go down. Well, <laughs> why don't you try something else and see if you can get it down? And if it doesn't go down, do water-only fasting. It'll definitely go down. <laughs> yeah. And then add food back and find out what you can and cannot eat. Everybody is their own experiment in this particular case. There's no universal thing that works for everybody uh, uh, the same way. So, so you have to then experiment on your own body and say, okay, what do I need to do? Uh, is it a keto diet, a Mediterranean diet, a pescatarian diet, you know, carnivore diet? What is the best diet to get me into a low GKI, which is the low glucose ketone index? Then you're going to start putting the metabolic pressure on these tumor cells. Then you come in with the, with the drugs that target glutamine. So, yeah, diet. Now, exercise is absolutely essential for the therapeutic efficacy of this process because we found that exercise does two things. Number one, it lowers glutamine. That's great. Exercise itself will lower blood glutamine. Number two, when you're burning, uh, when you're exercising, your muscles are taking in uh, uh, glucose from the bloodstream and converting it into glycogen or burning it on the spot. So uh, muscle and brain get most of the glucose in the body. The brain takes glucose but can switch to ketones, but will always take the glucose. Muscle, if you're exercising, the muscles are going to take in glucose. Who's the lowest guy on the totem pole to get the sacred glucose? It's a damn tumor cell. So he's, once your body is in nutritional ketosis and you are exercising, those tumor cells are going to be under a world of hurt. And then you come in with the blast on the side with the glutamine targeting drugs, and you blast these things out. You know, for the most part, uh, and we can, this is where the cutting edge is right now. How many different glutamine targeting drugs can we use? Some of these parasite medications, we have a paper out showing that they target glutamine too. So, and glucose simultaneously. It's a package of finding out what works best for each cancer patient to keep them in a high quality exercise state, very healthy, eating the right foods to keep a low GKI while they're slowly, slowly degrading their tumor. So, uh, and often what we see is also the diabetes goes away. <laughs> The obesity goes away. Of course, yes. <laughs> uh, All these other chronic problems go away along with the cancer. This was in our Press Pulse paper. We published this. So let's, uh, you know, no, look, I, I'm telling you after the last, um, I, I've heard the word ketogenic as it relates to psychiatric disorders, as it relates to obviously type 2 diabetes, metabolic dysfunction, now cancer. I know that I discuss it with Alzheimer's disease patients, which is my primary area of research. And so it's becoming more and more clear to me that this ketogenic lifestyle, albeit a hard one to get into, I bought the Keto Mojo yeah. um, testing strips, mm -hmm. very hard to get into. Oh, yeah. and, and let me tell you, I had an orange as an experiment and that yeah. just 
pushed me straight out of nutritional ketosis. Oh, yeah. Which, oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Try a Coca-Cola. Try a Coca-Cola oh, yeah. and see what that does. <laughs> we um, did that. It's like hitting the bell in the circus. You know, the, the yeah. thing goes up and rings the bell. Exactly. You know, it's, it's unbelievable.